So walking around uh, MGC and you know, I was just thinking about how everybody always gives me grief with uh, Video Games Monthly saying that, you know, hey, oh, I must know them. They give me special treatment. I mean, that's that's just not the case. But hey, uh, excuse me, sir. I was I was looking at those games. Oh, Can you not? Oh, excuse me. oh, Joe, uh, you brought me. Did you want this hand delivered this time? Yeah, I did want to hand delivered. Thank you. you didn't give me shit games again this time, did you? Did you actually pick out the good ones? Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, but like I was saying, I mean, they don't give me special treatment in any way. So, I mean, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what they put in here this time. Okay, but in all seriousness, no, Joe and everyone at VGM does not give me special treatment. I approached him about saying all of that because I thought it would be funny because there's always somebody in the comments that is saying that I must get special treatment. Uh, and I don't. Joe's a nice guy. Everyone that works at VGM, they're all nice people. And that's pretty much the end of it. I pay for all the boxes myself. And speaking of, here, check it out. We have April's box. April? April's box. All right, and we are going to open this up to find out all of the cool stuff that VGM has sent. Now, one of the things that I have been doing recently is I have been doing uh, GameCube instead of N64. Or not instead of, but in addition to, because I just am not getting as much N64 stuff anymore because the list is so small now. But what is awesome is because of VGM and because of everything they offer with their service, you are able to go in and select all of the different systems that you want to be able to get games for. And for me personally, that means that I am getting GameCube now, uh, whether it's import or whether it is North American. And I am also still getting N64, whether it's import or American and Wii U as well. So those are the only ones I currently have marked on there. And then Virtual Boy, but Virtual Boy stuff never comes around because that's a very slim pickings console and it's expensive. But let's dive in, see what I got. I don't think that it is uh, N64 this time. It's something else. And we're gonna find out exactly what it is. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what's in the box. Hey, look, it's my name. <clears throat> so we dive in and we have the social media card. And what this is, is it's very cool. You have a chance to win a free three up box if you post about your experience on social media with Video Games Monthly. They have the three up, four up, five up, 10 up power pack. And this gives you a chance to win a free three up one. Just make sure that you go in and you are updating your list every month. That way they don't send you duplicates. Sometimes they still will. Accidents happen, they're only human, and all you gotta do is hit them up and they will make it right. But let's go ahead and dive back in here. We have a bracelet. Video games monthly. Play the past into the future. I like a nice little bracelet every now and then. And then we have three GameCube games. Now, I do subscribe to the 4UP box, but they often try to find things that could be a little bit higher value and they'll send a little bit less, and that is just something that I have worked out with them. I am perfectly fine with it. But let's see, first up, we have Turok Evolution, and it says this game is worth about 17 bucks, so we'll go ahead and check price charting, but right there, Turok Evolution. Let's take a look. Well, pun completely intended, this is definitely the next evolution of Turok, and in addition to having still that kind of N64 vibe to it, just albeit, you know, better graphics, it definitely has way better draw distances. The color palette is much more vibrant. I mean, you can even see a rainbow in the background there. And the gameplay is just still super fun. Like Turok games are just, they're really fun to play. And this one is no different. I had a fantastic time playing Turok Evolution and I cannot wait to play this game more. And I mean, price charting, I mean, VGM was right on. Price charting currently shows this at 1715 for a complete and copy game. So this is great. And coming right back, when we open it up, nice. We got that disc right there. Let's check out the condition of it. Ooh, that is nice. That is a good quality disc. It's got the full manual in it and it's in good condition. Wow, it even has the warranty card in there. So very cool. If I could actually go through the pages, there we go. So yeah, that is Turok Evolution. Now let's go ahead and check out our next game. We have X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse. It says that it's worth about $23, 
So we'll find out when we check price charting. So let's take a look at X-Men Legends 2, Rise of Apocalypse on GameCube. Yes. And VGM did it right again. They listed 23, and on price charting, it shows this game at 2351. And as for gameplay, it's not my favorite style of gameplay, but I can definitely appreciate where they were going with it. And the game, it's fun, but... I don't know, I think I prefer more like a beat em up style with my X-Men games and like X-Men arcade, stuff like that. I find more fun out of those. This is definitely more of a story and like squad driven game, which, you know, it's the X-Men, of course you have a squad. But overall, I didn't care for this one too much, but it was still fun in its own way. And coming right back to it, the case is in pretty good condition. The plastic on it definitely has some uh, shelf wear, but that ain't a big deal. Open this up, there it is. Let's check the disc quality. And oh, there's a, a little smudge right there, but that is easy enough to clean up. And then again, we have the nice manual. And boy, GameCube manuals are thick, man. But yeah, X-Men Legends 2, Rise of Apocalypse, right on. Now, the third and final game that we have is Spider-Man, and this is the movie Spider-Man. And it says it is worth 11 as usual. We'll check price charting and see what they say as well. But here we have Spider-Man the movie on GameCube. Let's take a look. And here is Spider-Man based on the first Tobey Maguire movie. And this one is actually worth more than what VGM said. They had it at 11 and currently it's worth 12.55. And this game was absolutely fantastic. And I did actually like it more on the GameCube than I did, like, say, on PlayStation. I don't know. It was just more vibrant to me. I mean, PS2 and all that stuff and, like, Spider-Man 2, that was definitely where it was at. But this, you could see the foundation that was laid. And this game was amazing. It had excellent swing mechanics. I mean, it still does today. They're excellent. And it has super fun combat mechanics. And the game is just all around amazing. And just like the last two, here is a front and back of the case. And this franchise was actually really good. I didn't care for the third one, but the second one was my favorite until the newer Spider-Man games came out from Insomniac. But let's check the disc quality right there. Extra clean. Oh, little uh, thing on it right there. But looking very nice, no scratches. And of course, got that nice big chunky boy manual. Ooh, and it has the warranty card in it. Very nice. Ooh, official strategy guide. What? Nice. Okay, so we'll put that back in. And that right there is Spider-Man on the GameCube. Now, for all of these, of course, you know, they put the, uh, the prices on there. That way I could quickly see around how much they were worth financially because they were only sending me three games instead of four. And that is perfectly fine with me. I don't care if that happens, if it means I can get a higher quality game, especially ones that are complete. Now, I don't normally, for cartridge base and stuff like that, I don't care about going for the boxes or the manuals or anything. I'm fine with loose carts, but ones like this, I do kind of prefer having them complete or at least having the case with original artwork on it. So having all three of these, Turok Evolution, X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse, and Spider-Man the Movie, these are awesome, awesome games to have in the collection, and I cannot wait to play these more. And again, a huge thanks to Joe and all the folks over at Video Games Monthly, especially for uh, letting us uh, horse around at the beginning of the video there at MGC 2024. They are always at all of these cons. That way they can promote VGM and they can just hang out with everyone, especially all of the subscribers to VGM. So a huge thank you to all of you. And if you like today's video and you want to check out another recent VGM video, then go ahead and check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.